Meme craft episode. We hit 50,000 likes. Uh, I'm not gonna cry, but it really fucking annoys me. As I'm recording this, this is on 60,000 likes. And you know what I said? This gets 50,000 likes. I will reveal how I got arrested at age 13. Yep. <sighs> I'm gonna have to reveal. Which one is it again? Oh, it's this one. I'm gonna have to reveal what happened. But, um, I don't even know if I want to explain what happened. I don't, it should, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. Kind of big. I've never said it before, but, um, I may as well. But first. No, no, no. Where are they? 10, 10 diamonds. Oh my God. That's actually huge. I'm really tempted to just go in there right now and get some more diamonds. Oh, okay. Are we going? Does anyone know how to fix this? My Minecraft feels a bit laggy. Am I just spending 10,000 pounds on a PC just for Minecraft to lag? Okay, I'm dying. So I need to eat bread. You know what? First. I'm going to bed. Oh, that run! Okay. What about the horses? You know, you know. Why have the horses not escaped? I freed you. I'm saying, you know, leave. You know what I'm they just don't want to leave. You're not fair enough. I will eat you later and Creep. go away. Go away. Hey, look, you can blow up this house. I don't care. Want to come in? Want to come in? Psych. <laughs> Come on, come in, bro. Come in, little man. Come in, little man. Come on, step inside. Come on. There we go. Oh, you want to come in? Nope. <laughs> what the f is that laugh? <laughs> Wait, what the f How are you alive? Why would you do that? Wait. Creeper has just unveiled a new cave. <gasps> oh my god. He's unveiled a new cave. You know, everything happens for a reason. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, wait. I've already been here. Oh, never mind. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make something from my diamonds. I got 10 of them, so like, I'm gonna make something good, okay? Right, give me these. You gotta start off with the basics, okay? I need sticks. I have no wood. And also, the people in the comments are gonna... You're gonna need to tell me what to do next because um, I have no clue how to complete Minecraft. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've, I've never made it that far. Diamond pickaxe. There we go. There's one. I have seven diamonds left. Here we go, diamond hoe. Right, I'm, I'm making a sword. There's a sword. And I have five left. And I'm making another... Di and I have two more. Jeez! Oh, I have so much money! A, uh, a shovel. I don't know if that was a good idea. I really don't. No. And now I have one diamond. And I'm saving this diamond. Did I cook anything in here? <gasps> Shit! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 39 gold. Okay, and I read the comments. Someone said iron armor is better than uh, gold armor. I currently have no armor. Okay, right. First of all, check up on these things. Oh my god. Whoa! What's going on in there? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I could upgrade the house. The house is looking pretty bad right now. The roof isn't even finished, man. I should finish the roof right now. Seven hours. Okay, right. Okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing now. Okay, no more messing around. Okay. First of all, we're getting this coal right here. Cop that coal. More like Ashley coal. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Wait, why do I get coal? I really need coal. Or I just want coal. I don't care. I'm, going, I'm, I'm leaving this cave. Wait, what the... What is that light? Yeah, please. Can somebody, like, write down all the steps? Like, the exact steps I need to follow to complete Minecraft. Then everyone like that comment, whoever did it. And then I'll be able to read it. Please, thank you. 12 ladders and that. Yes, please. And me up. Nice. Nice. Well, we have a roof. You know what? I'm just stealing other stuff from other houses. I don't care anymore. What's it like down there, villagers? It's feeding time. I know you all need to live, so have some sand. Is this all right, this house is cool, but um, it's going down. <gasps> Vegetable. I don't know who's growing it, but thank you. Leave the building. Leave. Yeah, leave. Oh, it's because of this thing. Right, it's gone now. You're now a nobody. Go. Be freeze. Where is he going? No, no, you're not a farmer now. No, no, I'm not having this. No, you're not a farmer either. You're a nobody. Get in the well where you belong. Maybe I should make a farm down... That's a perfect idea. I'm making a farm in the well. Do I have seeds? I need seeds, don't I? Into the disgusting well we go. You guys, I don't like how you're just chilling in here. So I need to somehow make a platform where they can leave. But for now, I'm just going to expand it for you, okay? Okay, as I'm just building something, I may as well explain how I got arrested at age 13. This is going to be annoying to explain when I got people going... In the Shut up! I'm trying to explain a story. There's so much stuff on the floor right i'm this is pissing me off i need to stop them from making noises friendly creatures shut up we have some dramatic music to, to you know spice this up let's make this a really good story okay so um i think it might have been 2013 uh, that sort of time it was the last day of it was the last day of the holidays and uh me and six other friends were like you know what let's go to the cinema what can go wrong going to the cinema so i remember we went to see um the the, the first star wars remake that came out that disney made that i didn't even watch the film 
We were just throwing food in each other's faces for like half an hour. I don't even remember what happened in the film. Okay, so we're leaving this the film in the cinema and um, for reasons, I'm gonna not name the people who are involved. I'll use code names. So um, three of them left to go home and then me and two others uh, were like, oh, what now? What now? What now? So I had a friend um, who lived in a, a very big house. He lived in like the rich area of where I live. Guys, I don't live in the rich area just for you all know. I, I don't. He lived in the, he lived in like an, an estate. It's a private estate where um it's like locked gates where only members can get in. He was like, oh, let's go to my house. And I was like, oh, okay. Yep, sure. Whatever. I, I don't really care, mate. This is where it starts to get spicy. As we were walking back, he was like, guys, you know, on my estate, there's an abandoned house. And we were like, no, no way. Surely not. And he was like, yes, yes, mate. By the way, he's from Australia, so I'm not going to replicate his accent. He was like, yeah, there's an abandoned house. And I was like, no way. Keep in mind, I was like 30. What are you doing in my bed? My response was, is it haunted? And he was like, yeah, I think it might be. We open the gates to the estate. I walk in and obviously uh, the houses on this estate, they are mansions. Like they are so big. Like the estate had its own private golf course. So just imagine this. It's just a, a massive estate with houses worth millions. Uh, and then he's like, and take a look at this. I look to my right and I look at the house that he says is abandoned. It was just very big that the house was like, instead of like normal houses, which are made out of brick it looked like a massive cabin and uh, by the way it was a white house and had like green mold growing on it and i was like yeah you can just tell this isn't abandoned spoiler alert it wasn't abandoned and i was like all right let's go in he was like no we gotta wait till midnight and i was like okay 12 seconds later so the time was six o'clock and keep in mind it was it was around december so um at this point it's gonna be nighttime we're almost like very dark at six o'clock december time so um so i was like it's time let's do this so we walk up to the house obviously the front door's locked and my friend was like don't worry there's another way in and i'm like all right that sounds awesome so we go around the back garden and um i i can neither confirm or deny that um the friend uh kicked down the back door i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying uh i cannot confirm because um i didn't see but that may that may or may not have happened so um suddenly the back door to this abandoned house is open i'm like okay great let's go in it's honestly the weirdest thing because like, we walk in you know when you walk into the ground level of a house everything's sort of flat the ground floor in this was not flat there was like a massive lump in the ground a massive lump like an air bubble but it wasn't at the same time it was so weird we keep looking around the house keep in mind this is this is a very big house this is like a, a six bedroom house or whatever there might be people in america watching you it's like oh my god a seven bedroom house. shut up no one cares okay so uh we're, we're just exploring the house um the house that there, there, there clearly been no one in it for a very long time because i remember at the front door there was a massive part of letters like and because no one's here no one's clearing them up they just piled all together in one massive like ball uh the friend who uh may or may not have opened the back door in a forceful way he then jumped and swung on the chandelier no pun intended and i was like wow that looks fun let me try it so i then jumped on the chandelier and swung off and i was like that ah, that's fun remember i'm 13 and anything to me at that age is funny the friend then gr then grabbed a mug that he found on the side and just threw it across the room and it smashed and because we're 13 we're like oh loud noise that's funny let's do more so um we then found another mug and threw it. And then, okay, remember this. Remember what I'm saying. I then grabbed my bottle of Sprite and I spilt it on the kitchen floor. That is going to be a key moment in the story later on, okay? Like 30 minutes passes, okay? We're obviously making a lot of loud noises in the house. So we're at the top floor of this house. Now, on the top floor, you can see like out to the front, you could see the gate, okay? You can see people trying to get in. We're at the top floor of this house and then the friend says, he's from Australia, so um, he says, oh sh the police. And I'm like, yeah, good one, good one. That's very funny. Move out the way. I go up to the window. I look outside the window and I look to the, the front gate of the, the community and I see two police cars and one police van all parked at the front of this gate. As you can tell, someone in the gated community has reported, I think it was an armed robbery. So I look out the front and I'm like, oh, oh, shit. We look at each other and then remember that there is another guy here. There's, there's three of us. So I, I just haven't mentioned, you know, he, he didn't really do that much. Then we all look at each other and say, Shh. so, um, we ran. The, the Australian guy, uh, he got a head start. You know, he, he was a, he was a rugby player at the time. So he had good power off the start, a good sprint, a good launch off the start. So, um, he got out the room first, ran to the hallway. Um, but sadly, um, for him, there was a ladder on the floor, which he tripped and smashed his shin and... Yeah. Almost couldn't walk. And I remember I remember thinking, no, I could help him out, but 
every man for himself. So I then leap over his body. I then head for the stairs. I very clumsily sort of half fall down the stairs, half run down. It was kind of a mixture of both. I was kind of at the same time falling down the stairs more than running. But either way, the method worked. So I'm now on the ground floor. The police, they've got into the gated community and they're now in the front yard of this house. And they've got torches out because it's pitch black. I think there was about three or four of them who were on the front yard. And I saw it in the corner of my eye and I'm thinking, yep, I'm dipping. So I then head towards the back door of the house. I run, slip on my own f***ing sprite that I pour on the floor. Honestly, I can't even remember what happened because I hit my head on the ground so hard. I, I just saw white. Like, I hit my head on the ground so hard, I just saw white for a second. It's like getting flashbang in Call of Duty, okay? That's pretty much what happened. The Australian friend who had managed to recover from his leg. He got up, jumped over me, and headed towards the back gun. Pretty much, we were all just abandoning each other. They head towards the back gun. I'm still inside this house just, like, trying to gather my thoughts because I've just been flashbanged by myself. So I'm on the floor. I'm trying to gather my senses, and I see the two friends trying to escape through the hole in the fence in the back garden. I'm gonna say that they weren't the speediest at doing it, and I thought, you know what? I can either line up in the queue to get out the back gate, or I can just run off somewhere else. I chose the option two. I ran out the back garden. I can see them struggling to get through this hole in the fence. I'm like, I'll, I'll make my own hole in the fence. I then see this massive bush and I dive head first into it. Um, surprise, surprise. Uh, it was a thorn bush. I scratched my whole body up. I, I didn't even make a hole in the fence. I, I just, I was just a body in a thorn bush, pretty much. I was, I was just useless. I'm in this thorn bush, like just trying to, I don't know, hide in the thorn bush. I don't know what was going through my head. But I was thinking, just hide. Just get, get on the floor in the thorn bush. So I'm inside this thorn bush and I can see, um, my other two friends trying to escape through the hole in the fence. And that's when I see the four policemen. They, they, they run up and they catch up to us. And they say, get on the floor. Get on the floor. One of them's holding a taser. The Australian friend, uh, he gets grabbed um, and handcuffed because uh, he was quite big at the time. He was a rugby player. They thought, he's, they thought he was a man. So they grabbed him, uh, threw him on the floor. They handcuffed him. Um, the other kid, uh, he was from Scotland. Uh, he cried instantly. He just insta cried. I see all of this happening. I'm in the thorn bush. Two thoughts are going through my head stealth mission or turn myself in I i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie um it would be a very cool story if i uh if i just hid in the thorn bush and uh, tried to escape the police but um no i was too scared at the time I, I i'm shitting myself i i don't want i don't want to be found i don't want to be tased in a thorn bush i walk over to them with my hands up I, I don't know i don't know i just have my hands up i just thought what if they have guns or something i i don't want to get i walk over with my hands up i'm like i'm with them i'm with them four of the policemen look at me uh one of them grabs me and i get thrown onto the floor all three of us are on the dirt floor hands behind our back and i remember looking at the uh australian friend and um i was thinking yeah we're in trouble so the police then start questioning like what are you doing here what are you doing here everyone's so scared to talk and i'm just like uh we were just we were just exploring we were just exploring and then uh they were like do you have any weapons on you do you have any weapons on you and i was like uh no i i don't have any weapons on me so they then uh i had a school bag on me they grabbed the bag and then the other two go and uh inspect the house and um yeah the house was a bit damaged. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I did I barely did any damage. Like literally, I did I did not a lot of damage. So um, one of them saw the sprite on the floor. Uh, I remember one of the police officers saying they pissed on the floor. They pissed on the floor, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. we haven't uh, we 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 didn't piss on the floor. That, that did not happen. That's just my sprite. So at this point, the Australian friend, because he lives in that neighborhood, um, he gets taken away. He explains to them that he lives in the neighborhood, and they take him to his house. Then it's just me and the other guy, um, the Scottish guy. He, he was still crying, by the way. They then come back with my bag and um, one of the policemen is holding out. <laughs> I picked the worst day to make paper nunchucks. I made like these replica paper nunchucks out of duct tape and paper in art class. So I made one of them and they're like, what's this? This is a dangerous weapon. And I was like, uh, uh, no, I made that in art class. He's like, I'll be confiscating these. And I'll be like, go ahead, mate. You can have them. Keep them. They stood us up. They took pictures of us. I don't know what they've done with those pictures. I really want to see them. But um, it felt like they were taking mug shots of me. I got put in the back of a police police van and then we got driven home the scottish guy was still crying and i was sitting there saying should i be crying i then felt bad because i wasn't crying i thought there's something wrong with me why am i not crying why am i not upset is there something wrong with me and then i get dropped off to my parents house and uh i'm not gonna go through what happened then
I was in trouble. I was in trouble. But my nan came to the rescue. The day after it happened, it was my nan's birthday. So I then had to awkwardly sit in the car as they drove me to my nan's house. I think they sort of forgave me in that day because they, they didn't want to act angry in front of my nan. It sort of blew over quite quickly. What happened to us after that? Did we have a criminal record? Are we on the fucking neighborhood watch? I don't know. I still don't really know. We had to pay a fine apparently, but I I, I didn't pay it. For days, um, I, I kept going on the, our local police website. Every day, I would like Google my name on the website just in case I've been put up there because um, I was so scared that I would have like a criminal record or something. I was genuinely terrified. Eventually, it blew over and I was like, oh, nothing really happened apart from paying a fine. It could have been much worse. Because we were only 13, I think the police may have just taken it as like a minor case. So um, moral of the story is, if you think a house is abandoned, it isn't. It just isn't. I don't care what is growing from it. It's not abandoned, okay? Don't listen to what anyone says. And also, don't ever see a Star Wars film. They're terrible. <coughs> so, um, yeah, that's what happened. Um, I've never explained that to my YouTube channel ever because I don't know if I'm allowed to. So there we go. I'm a criminal. Who would have known? Arrested at age 13. Who would have thought? There, I explained it. I may have missed out some details because it happened years ago. Very, very cool. Very cool. Very interesting. Very cool. No one cares. Okay, right. And look at me now. From criminal to pro Minecraft player. I can't plant it. What? Seven hours later. All right, listen up. You get to work, okay? Now, this whole episode was just me explaining what happened. I didn't even get anything done. I have brought you beds. I don't want to hear a single complaint now. One, two, three, four. Four beds, okay? Oh, my God. Why is that such a depressing sight? I'm sorry, Iron Man, but... It is. I need iron armor. That's what I need. Chest plate. Bang. Leggings. Bang. Helmet. Bang. I'm looking good. Look at look at me. I'm going cave exploring right now. I wasted half the episode explaining this stupid story, but now I'm sending it. I'm ready. This is a scary looking cave. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, this is massive. Right, let me get this coal first. Coal is the goal. What the Minecraft pro say? Oh my god. No, this is. The, I already know this cave has diamonds. I already know. This is the exit. Oh, go away. What do I do? What do I do? I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Destroy! And I already see lava. That's a good sign. Is that gold? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Name a better duo than me and gold. Gold acquired in 3.2 seconds. I feel like I'm meant to go this way. Yes. Yes. No. Wait, I'm going to collect arm, uh, iron. I need that. Okay, I think iron is important for us. I want to make another iron, man. All Minecraft pros know you should head up. Wait, I'm actually right. Oh my god, I'm right. No, I'm not right. Yes, I am right. N no, I'm not. That's a dead end. Where do I go? Maybe this way? Yes. Yes. No. No. Oh, that's not good. Where's the village? Oh, I'm right at it. Okay. Oh my god, you're pissing me off now. Creep, bro. No! Oh, oh. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get off the bench. Get out. Yeah, leave suggestions what I should do next episode. Um, thank you for watching. Yankee with no brim!